Yo, what's going on guys? It's right back again and bringing another video. So this video I'm going to be doing is uh, just basically uh, a discussion video I'm talking about should BJ Penn retire after his loss to Nick Diaz. Um, so as many of you know, he basically said after he had been uh, defeated by Nick Diaz by a decision uh, that, uh, you know, he's got daughters at home and that, uh, or at least one and one on the way and he doesn't want to come home looking like this. Um, you know, so he, he's thinking he also wants to compete at the highest level and uh, his record recently hasn't been that great so he's you know considering retirement um, or at least taking a break for a while and then reassessing the situation but it you know it basically sounded like he said that uh, pretty much this might be the last time you see him in the octagon um, me personally I gotta say that I don't think that uh, BJ Penn should retire at this point I really don't um, just because you lose to Nick Diaz I mean a lot of guys lose to Nick Diaz. I mean, the only people I think would probably beat Nick Diaz in the welterweight division, um, George St. Pierre may beat him. I mean, that's a close fight, I think. Probably the odds would be, I don't know, 55-45 for George or 60-40 for George. So George, you know, could beat him. Um, but other than George, who else could beat Nick Diaz right now? Nobody. You know, at least in my opinion, nobody. Uh, until I see it happen, you know, most guys, I think, would be beaten by, by Nick Diaz pretty fairly easily. Uh, Carlos Condit might be able to beat Nick, but that would be a really good fight, too. I'd love to see that as well. Um, but other than that, who else is there that's going to beat Nick? Um, maybe Josh Kostuk? I don't know. But just based on taking him down and winning a decision. Uh, if anybody stands with Nick Diaz in the welterweight division, they're going to get messed up. Even BJ. Uh, really, BJ Penn is a fighter that should be fighting at lightweight. I don't know why he's even at welterweight at all. He shouldn't be at welterweight whatsoever, in my opinion. Um, BJ should be fighting at lightweight and he should just basically work on his speed and his cardio and that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think he should be at welterweight. He did really good in that first round against Nick Diaz and he proved that he's one of the best in the world still. Um, nobody can do that to Nick Diaz, you know, hardly. I mean, Paul Daly, who's one of the most renowned strikers in the welterweight division, pretty much was able to, you know, land a couple good shots on Nick and then just got destroyed after that. You know, uh, BJ landed a lot of good shots in the entire first round and messed mess Nick up pretty bad. But then what ended up happening was was the cardio of Nick Diaz kicked in and BJ, you know, started to sort of slow down throughout the fight and, um, you know, Nick started to take over. But even in the third round, BJ was coming back with some good shots and he wasn't, you know, he wasn't just you know, just totally just taking a beating and not answering back. He was answering back pretty good. Um, so me personally, I, I don't think that BJ should retire. I mean, sometimes these guys get, you know, depressed after their fights and, you know, when they lose because they're looking, they're working so hard and they're trying as best they can to win and it doesn't quite work out that way. He still put on a fantastic showing against Nick Diaz. And, uh, you know, not everybody's going to be the best in the world. You know, maybe BJ's been on top for so long, he's not used to not being on top, he wants to be on top, but it doesn't work that way. You can't always be on top. I mean, there will be a day when, when GSP is no longer the best in the world. There will be a day when Anderson Silva is no longer the best in the world. Look at Fedor. Fedor, for the longest time, was recognized as the best heavyweight, you know, the best mixed martial arts fighter ever. Uh, beating everybody, beating the snot at everybody. Nobody could touch him. And then he's lost, and look at him now, he's lost three in a row, losing to a middleweight. So... You know, I don't think BJ's at that point now where he should retire. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think he was just kind of, you know, just beaten up after the fight? And he, you know, he, you know, nobody's ever done that to BJ. So, you know, that that makes a lot of sense there as to why he would be feeling that way. But I personally don't think he should retire at all. Um, maybe take eight months or something, take some time off and just work on his cardio and his speed. Uh, move back down to lightweight so he can, you know, match Frank Yeager's speed and these guys' speed. I think that would probably be the best uh, direction for BJ to go. Let me know what you guys think. Let's talk about it in the uh, in the um, comments. And um, let me know what you think. Should BJ Penn retire? That's it, guys. Peace.